my channel today I wanted to show you um, this adorable little outfit that I picked out recently I want to tell you a little bit more about that and also something that came in the mail today um, or recently so if you're interested in knowing more about that then just stay tuned so hello everyone and um, I just wanted to share this amazing cute outfit that um, I recently got and I've put it on my Levi. Oh my God, I just love it so much. It's so adorable and um, perfect for upcoming Christmas. So Christmas is very, very, very fast approaching. Um, and um, I recently was out and about at my local Kmart here in Australia. And we saw this um, little dog outfit that someone had just put down in the women's section uh, as you do and um, I it, it was it's actually you know a little outfit that you put on your dogs so these go the front legs go through these holes and then these hang down at the front of the dog and then this is where the the head goes so this outfit isn't covering his back it's only just at the front but it just looks so great for pictures and stuff like that that I thought um, I would show you what it looks like on my Levi's just to give everyone out there some ideas that if you find a really cute little dog outfit, which they're coming out more and more these days, um, it's not so great with the little built-in um, <laughs> arm sticking out at the side, but it doesn't matter. A lot of people saw the pictures of it and didn't, I don't think they noticed that. So, <clears throat> sorry, I've got a thro frog in my throat. I'm just clearing it now. So, yeah, I just wanted to share this really, really cute little Christmassy outfit with you. I just love it so much. It was like $7 at Kmart. So, I thought that was a cute buy just for photos and stuff like that. So, the other thing that came in the mail also was um, another one of these rattles. So this is, I bought a pink one before and this is the blue one. I love the little crochet little beads. I think it was like $5 and I love how it makes a little rattle. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. And I love how it's got like the dark blue and then the light blue and then the white. The baby, you know, very pale baby blue and the white. I love the different colored crochet little things on it. And um, I just love these so much. So yeah, that's one of the... um things I want to share with you today. So I just wanted to talk to you today also about, again, I've talked about this a lot recently, but it's just really, really important. So I just wanted to address it again. I reweighted this little guy last night. Um, he is actually, I think he was my first, Le yes, he was my very first Levi that I ever got. And he is made in Australia. But, um, and then, you know, he was perfect, but he, for me, um, I found his chest to be, um, he wasn't too heavy, so that was great, but I found his chest to be a little bit too, um, puffed out and a little, it wasn't too stiff, but it was just a little bit too puffed out at the front and also in the shoulders. So his arms weren't like really floppy and his head was quite like stable where I like their heads to be a lot more floppier so luckily um I got some more ties um the cable ties I got they weren't actually the proper newborn ones they were just from like the you know the zip ties you can get from the that like the cheap shop so they have got a slightly bigger um back you know the closing to it but you know this was more important to me to have the the weighting and the the floppiness right as opposed to the size of the little plug on the back so I will order some more smaller ones and I can swap that over at a later date but at the moment I just wanted the 
that snuggliness. So, yeah, I took out about two handfuls of um, stuffing and that just um, released his head and his shoulders so they were more floppier. And now when I cuddle him, he's just so much more like snug, like he just really cuddle collapses sort of in a little bit so he's not as firm so that's just what I like I like my babies to be light and I like them to be quite floppy like not obviously extremely floppy but just softly floppy so um I'm much much more happier with um him now um it's so funny because you know how I like my babies really light he is that light that I actually could even go a tiny bit of weight in him which I do have some weight, but I just thought, nah, I would rather him be that titchy bit too light than have the weight in him because I just find the cuddles, because whenever I'm holding them, if they're too, if they've got any weight in them that's anything more than light, I just find that it just takes, for me, it takes away from the experience of cuddling them because I'm feeling this uncomfortableness with the weight. So personally, I prefer mine ultra light because I just... They have to have some weight, of course, but they, cause they can't be too heavy because I just don't, you know, they get I get tired arms and I don't want to get tired arms. I want to keep cuddling these ma amazing babies. And the thing that I love about this one is um, when I, I can't show you in this video, but another video will show you how floppy he is in the tummy. So if you want to pose him with his legs curled up over his tummy, they just do it so easily. So um I was so, so wrapped when I was doing that last night when I reweighted him. I was flipping his legs up onto his body and just letting go, and he was just staying in that position. So that was really, really amazing. So I'm saying so a lot. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I wanted to talk about something a little bit sad that's happening here at the moment. So um, we had a really, like, it's been so cool and comfortable around here lately in here in Queensland Australia which normally in November it's quite hot like really really hot like 30 35 32 you know 30 degrees Celsius most days but it's been like really ultra cool like 25 just and at night down to 16 just so beautiful and comfortable I've been loving it and then they announced that yesterday was going to be 36 degrees and it was. It was really, really hot. And unfortunately, all these bushfires, because our, our land is so dry because we haven't had a lot of rain. And um, then our because the land's so dry with all this heat, just the smallest thing is starting fires, bushfires. And there's all smoke outside. I've had to shut all the doors and windows and it's um you can smell smoke even in the house and it's all smoky outside so it's really really sad there's so many bushfires around here at the moment as i've heard there was a lot of bushfires also around the world in la and stuff like that so it's a bit scary but we're all safe here thank god it's just we have to um put up with the smoke and all it's all overcast outside with all the smoke but yeah anyways it's Saturday morning here and um, I hope that you all are going to have an amazing weekend. Um, I just wanted to mention um, the two box openings that um, my friend Brett had recently. I was there for both of them. That was a really special experience for me to be there for someone else's box opening and um, to uh, enjoy – to. Uh, to be included in their enjoyment of their box opening it was really, really special. So thank you to Brett for um, sharing that experience with me. That was really, really special. And I'm just trying to think what else is coming up. Yeah, so anyways, can't think of anything else. But if you enjoyed seeing Levi in this adorable, adorable outfit, uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these amazing amazing gorgeous babies so lifelike and um yeah until next time hope you have an awesome weekend and it's bye from me and my gorgeous little man here levi I haven't given him a name as you know i don't so 
yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you later. Just give you some close-ups of him before I go.